Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. I thought it would be fun to do a playthrough in Bohemia. And the reason why I thought it would be fun is uh, this is probably my favorite place to play in the game currently. I'm doing 867 Bohemia. The reason why it's my favorite is because you there's just tons of action super early. Uh, and you do have to be careful because everybody wants a piece of you really um, so you have here um, one aspect of this area is that you're in between the Sil Slovakian faith and the Catholic and Orthodox faiths and so you're like in the center of all of it and so they want to convert you they don't like your faith if you're you know to the west and to the south they don't like your faith and then to the north and the east, they have the same faith, but I want to show you something really cool why I like playing in Bohemia. They're all tribal, but you're feudal. And so it allows you to take a massive step forward being already feudal government. You can build up, you can build up your baronies, your counties much more quickly. And because of our faith, we can still raid. And you can do a lot of raiding around you and with these feudal Catholic um, counties and uh, kingdoms around you, you can get a lot of loot really, really quickly. And so you can build up if you can survive. <laughs> it does take some effort, so we'll see where this goes. Uh, but what I want to do with this playthrough is something a little different. If you see in the Czech culture, one of their cultural innovations is the Table of Princes, which enacts house seniority law. And what house seniority law does in succession is that it, under house seniority succession, the oldest member of your house will inherit all your titles. And so what happens here is as you uh, play out and as your, um, as your family dynasty grows, the oldest member of your family dynasty gains all of your titles. So I know one of the biggest complaints that tends to be about Crusader Kings 3 is the succession laws and how I can't pass everything down to my oldest heir or my, you know, I, I want my heir to get everything. Well, this is a unique way in the Czech culture to pass everything down to one heir. It may not be your son uh, or your daughter or your oldest child or your youngest child. It, it's going to be a random family member that just happens to have lived longer than everybody else. But you do get to pass them all down. And the interesting part is, as you marry off your family around, they could be, I mean, they could be up here in Minsk, uh, but they're the oldest family member. And so they get all of your titles and whatever they, titles they have here and here, you get them all at that point. And so it's, a, it's an interesting way to grow your, to paint the map with your family dynasty as well as painting the map with your titles. So I want to jump in and see where this can go and how far can we uh, how far can we uh, paint our map with our family and with our titles as a result of this so let's jump in get started and um, it's gonna be a lot of rating in this episode like we're gonna do a lot of rating if we can we should be able to so I have the martial trait actually I should show you that I did create my own character I would suggest you do too. I would go martial, or if you go another education trait, I would make sure they have a decent prowess and a decent martial, even if you create another trait. The reason that I would suggest this is because you are going to get attacked a lot if you're going to start in Bohemia. So if you really like war and you want to be in war, this is a great place to be because everybody wants to fight everybody. But I went diligent, patient, and brave. The reason I did patient, I wanted a little bit more learning base. Um, to because I want to research this table of princes. That is what I'm going for. It says 60 years right now. We'll see if we can get it done in my lifetime. Might not be able to, but that's okay. We're going to go for that. So I went martial. The first tree we're going to go down is gallant, especially these four. If you're going to do the martial lifestyle, you really want to grab stalwart leader, sh uh, chivalric dominance, never back down, and king's guard right away. I, I'm going to go strategic fo focus to get my marshal up a little bit 
and the very first thing I'm going to choose gives my prowess plus four immediately. And so I am, I'm not too worried. My, my prowess is already high enough, and I'm going to get that plus four right away. So I'm not worried about that. Let's get married. So um, I, I want a decent one, but really the point of all of this is to get allies. In this area, you want a fairly strong ally so people leave you alone. And I like her. She's brave, so I'll naturally like her. Generous and humble, and she's a diplomat. So she has decent skills across the board. We're going to go with Dobroslava. I wonder if that's Russian for Deborah. That would be interesting. Uh, just not a name you see a lot of, but uh, I like that name. So get married. And... Let's check out our council. Do we have somebody better than that? We do. There are three as well. And he's deceitful and st sadistic. I'd rather have trusting, brave, and temperate. Oh, you know, yeah. You're going in there. And you're going to be my court physician. 10, 14, and 12. Those are all good. Mayor. You stink as a mayor. All right. Well. I don't know if he stinks as a mayor, but he stinks as a counselor. So what we're going to do is upgrade our level of authority. We are going to revoke your title. And then we are going to look for another chancellor. This is a good one here. Stubborn, temperate, and sadistic. He's 19, though. I kind of like him. We're going to do that. Grant title. Go back in here. Sign in. And we're going to focus on our, our own people for right now. You start developing. You find me better commanders. You support my schemes. What's this guy? 15 prowess. He's good, but I need to sway him. He doesn't like me. Probably because he wants a position, and I'm not going to give him one. All right. What military do we have? Light horsemen, pikemen, light footmen. I would say you're going to want a lot of light footmen because their counter is heavy infantry. And when you get into these Catholic nations, they have ton they love heavy infantry. They love using heavy infantry. So just something well, they don't have it, so that's good. But something to be aware of. They just love it. And so you've got a the good news is that their heavy infantry costs more than your light footman. So your counter is actually cheaper, but you need a lot of them because they are definitely gonna fight you over. And really, the men-at-arms that you get, the Zbrojnash, they, I hope I'm saying that right. It sounds cool to me, if, if that's how it sounds. It sounds cool to me. But uh, you really do, these are really good, and they're, they counter spearmen and archers. Our, our uh, cultural men-at-arms regiment is very, very good. Uh, so as soon as I can afford it, I will. And the other thing to watch out for here is in Kozlov, you have a gold mine as a special building, so you want to build that as quickly as possible, too. So... Let's jump in and do some raiding as soon as we can. We want to wait a little bit. Hey, we're married. And we have an alliance. With my marriage to Duchess Debraslava, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is within, well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Of course I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding? I could get prestige. I don't really need prestige, I need money, so we're doing that. And I might even bump this up again. You need a fairly good military early in this game. Just heads up if you're going to play this way. And what it does is when you hand off the titles to other people, it just sets them up so much better when they take over your titles because you're you're gonna have less control over what they look like because it's not your your children are not your direct heir 
So you just got to be aware of those things. All right, let's do some rating. You do want to look around you. A lot of them will go to war very early, and you want to pay attention to alliances because they will be very prevalent early. So just keep an eye on who's fighting who as you're going. Because if they're fighting each other, you can jump in and raid them, and they're going to pay more attention to the people they're at war with than you. I want to lead this army. I realize that puts me in danger, but I want to lead the army because if I can raid 20 times, it, it gives me a martial and prowess bonus. I should have shown you that. I always choose to take more. Whenever I can take more, I, I take it. That's just something that I do. Let's see. These guys use, oh, yep, they're at war. Who are they fighting? They're fighting down there. So we're going to go raid these guys because all their army should be in the south. So it should get us a little bit more. Got 108. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to get my men at arms back up to full strength here. There we go. up some gold while hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far some opportunities to portray my vassal mayor yomir in a good light have presented themselves my lord pray tell who is the most chivalrous person you have heard of i'm going to choose this because i'm trying to sway him and i can afford 75 prestige very easily up here took a prisoner can we get a ransom 50 oh I love it <laughs> so so much gold you can get so much gold so quickly here all right 250 let's build some buildings we'll go hill farms so just so you know how I play I tend to go gold first and I may like I'll probably choose to build barracks I might do military camps at times the reason I'm going to do barracks is because our special men at arms unit is a heavy infantry unit and so I want to build up my heavy infantry I will have a lot of spearmen as well because you can see we have a naturally defended area here with mountains everywhere um, if the kingdom expands it doesn't matter as much but I am looking forward to it all right, let's get some more. Let's get some more rating up here. We'll go around the back side here. 
we'll let it get to full strength first. All right. So we get do install work leader. We get plus four in our prowess. So it reduce, reduces the risk of commanding armies, which we need because we are brave. And we are going to command our army probably all the time. And then may challenge rivals to single combat, inflicting stress if you win. Uh, so, um, and we may have rivals. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't when I play in here. Do some raiding. And they're coming to attack us. We win. Uh oh. Miriamir has been wounded and his flesh has contracted foulness and smelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered and Zhebog is merciful, he should make it. We'll see. Took a prisoner. Only 10 gold this time, but I'll take it. 10 gold is 10 gold. The settlement of Opole. An important stronghold in Greater Apole has fallen to my raiders. We have the run of vast tracts of land and many of the quivering subjects and shining treasures of Duke Vidimir to choose from. The troops stand ready, awaiting my command to give them direction. I always do the bring me bonus plunder. Like, if I was going to reform the faith, I might do more of the piety side. But I want more money right now. I'm trying to build my kingdom up as quickly as possible. Hopefully we can win this last battle. It's going to be a close one. We got it. There's nothing to be done. It's alright. I can replace him if I need to. Oh, you know what I did? Yep, yeah, he's going to serve me. 22 prowess, I need him right now. But we need to recover. And something I forgot to do, which is so important, is I forgot to get these dudes all right so he's got good learning he's got decent prowess he's hunchback but I will take him anyway um, this Marrying off your courtiers is so important to developing good traits in your kingdom, to getting extra people in there. It's just so important. I forgot to do it. So let's do it now. We're going to go matrilineal here. Take off the inheritable. 26. Oh, he's already my champion. I'll... This is a great way, if you do matrilineal marriage, this is a great way to bring in high prowess guys. And he's a 20 as well. We're going to go him. Ooh, can... Eh, can bring the giant trade in. We'll try it. Twenty five more gold. still 20 sitting there I kind of need to let my armies go back up I fought a lot of battles there
surprised this guy's still surviving. All right, my wife is pregnant. We're going to stop the sway there. Let's sway my wife. Development is so important in here, too, because uh, the child was not meant to be. My wife touches Dabroslav, assures me it is the way of life, but her hand ling lingers on her belly. So, lost the baby, unfortunately. The, But if you can develop this up, so my development is five right now, and right now this is four, three, Five, so we're right near. All right, pregnant again, and this is development is five. So you can see we're we're at the top of the people around us where we can. Um, we could we have potential to be the highest developed area. So if you stick at it, it can be really important there. All right, well, let's switch this. Get some, get the bigger level levies and go do some raiding again. I've been hosting your Chancellor, Mayor Zickman, for several weeks, and he has helped me truly see the splendor of your realm and your under your role. I am nothing less than honored to serve as your vassal. And it's this it's this guy down here. Good job, Chancellor. Oh my word. <laughs> Lost that baby too. Got chivalric dominance, so our knight effectiveness is plus 75. So, with that, our knights are almost 200% effective now. Like I said, always, always do the give me money. Thankfully, I'm not generous, or that would be costly. Um, so this guy down here wants to form an alliance. I can tell you, I've played enough down here. He wants to form an alliance probably because he's going to go to war with Great Moravia. Um, I'm going to decline because I would rather raid him. Caught and beat. Oh, we might win. I cannot believe we just won that. Thought for sure we were going to lose that one. But we're getting out of dodge, I can tell you that much. He's going to come attack me anyway. Oop. So our ally is at war. This is also something that does happen. The northern lords, when they go on their adventures, they're going to come down here, especially if you're in this area. And they're going to do uh, an adventure to try to take land. I have to accept because I'll lose way too much fame. So I'm going to accept, but I don't know that I'm going to go up there at all. I 
I can't get further away from that guy, so I'm not sure. There he goes. Okay. We'll see how this war goes. We'll pay attention to it here. Oh, my counselor died. How did he die? Died from his wounds, and his oldest son died in a hunting accident. So that means somebody murdered him. So now I got Countess Ponislava. So what I want to do, I'm going to uh, educate her. So as she grows up, I'm going to educate her because she's my vassal. I want the best I can for her. I could have done that with his daughter. Let's do it with right here so stewardship we're learning we're gonna go stewardship because we don't have a good steward here yep that might be our best option um, I don't want deceptive I'd rather have that so we'll switch her to stewardship Spy master. Though I will surely see many bat battlefields before I meet my maker, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I've recently acquired a tome on the great battle of Tours, as well as a time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what for forgotten secrets it holds. So, I can attempt to translate the old scroll. I get one martial, one learning, and a commander bonus, and a hundred martial lifestyles. I could get do stress. I can I can tell you, almost assuredly, it's going to be stress no matter what. But this only gives me one martial. We're going to try try to do the older scroll, so we can study this battle. Enemy fatal casualties plus thirty advance in advantage in hills, which we do have a lot of hills around us. Martial and learning that gives us more learning I think I'm going to go this route study the battle That's a lot to be... Oh, I can't raid right now. I can't raid because I'm waiting for this battle to get taken care of. In my attempts to sway my wife to my interests, I found an opportunity. I think it argued that our goals are in fact the same as I dictate my next letter. She's already got plus 30 if I just maintain subtlety. I'm good with that. Okay, so I can learn, I can get the logist, logist, oh my word, logistician, logistician, oh my word. You can see it and read it, hopefully. <laughs> I'm having a terrible time saying that word. I'm going to have to look it up later just so I can get it right. But um, I can learn this trait, so I can leave it to my trait, I want to learn. Well, I want to learn, so... I need this war to end. All right, my wife's pregnant again. Fatal casualties and advantage. All right, it's probably time to go up here and attack these guys. I don't really want to get involved with that war, but I need it to end as well.
right, my son Harriman is born. And while I'm thinking of this, how old is this one? One. So, and do I have any courtiers that, yes, we do. Two. Go see how far we can get with these guys up here. So it says it's going to be close, which is good. Maybe will he come down and help me? As my eye, eyes meet Countess Mo Milislava's for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I know I am not imagining things. Even from the other end of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me, and I can feel my body responding, awakening. But Count Slava, or her husband and my steward, is also here tonight. I can give her a good tumble. Everyone will know of her sinful thoughts and know my heart remains pure. I am just going to do this. I'll take the piety. And my character's patient, brave, and diligent. That doesn't sound like a guy that's going to cheat on his wife or try to seduce or whatever. All right, so this is me trying to get that trait. So we're going to prepare the ranks. Get a little boost from my wife there. All right, well, we took him out pretty good, but we still lost. So, am I? My spy master was killed in battle, or yeah, was killed in battle. She's a hundred, so let's abandon that. Now we want to romance her. What would she like? Probably. Diplomatic. I'll do write a love poem. See how it goes. We're close to beating these guys. I don't know why they aren't attacking. Like, we can beat them together. If he would have jumped into that previous battle, we would have beat him. I need him to jump in. Come with me. Why are you not coming? Yeah, I mean, now they're coming. After I beat them by myself. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. We'll let that build up a little bit. As of late, all my visits to Deborah Slava have been ruined by my Volkov Bach. He follows her everywhere like a lost puppy. His attempts to charm the lady are laughable, yet I fear his persistence will be rewarded. So I can do a duel. Uh, intrigue's not going to work for me. His love is not true. Coin will persuade him to stop. So that, I can pay him 10 and it could happen. He's a 20 prowess, so we're going to go I'll pay him off. Nice. <clears throat> so, 
I took this guy captive <clears throat> in that battle. I could probably He's really going to hate me for a little bit, but I think I can persuade him. As my sweetheart and I walk through the Prague Gardens, I gesture at the greenery around us. For all their beauty, there isn't a single flower which rivals your own, my lady. There is one, which she says with a mischievous smile, a rare orchid from Rastrakuta which is nearly impossible to cultivate. The abandoned temple garden in Slani's is the only place where it thrives in religious. So, I'm going to brave the ruins because I am brave and I have high prowess. And it worked. Okay. Let's look here. I can go down here and loot again. They've got a lot of guys, but I think I can beat them. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to loot over here first. Let's raid them. They have less troops. All right, I got logist, logistic. <laughs> if somebody wants to put in the comics how to say that, because I am doing an awful job with it. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it on Marshall. Logistician? Why can't I say that? It shouldn't be this hard. Alright, I get plus four knights. Now I'll probably come over here and do this to get all the bonuses for my men-at-arms, and then I'll come back and finish Gallant completely. Prisoner... 25 gold. Oh, we got another war here. Is it defensive or offensive? He's the attacker. Psh, I think you're going to lose. And I'm not coming back up there. My champions get 20 opinion. I'll take that. All right. Now we have enough to build our gold mine. So let's do that. Okay. So now we can... And I am going to educate myself because of the martial trait. She's naturally bent towards martial. Is my child identified yet? Nope. And while we're at it, let's check our courtiers. So we've got stewardship and learning. Let's go learning. And we will convert her faith. Don't know yet. All right. Prisoner. 50 more gold. Awesome.
and we're gonna get our Zbrojnage. By Rod, Duchess of Debraslava is an unsufferable doxy. Have you seen how she sneers? Ridiculous. My vassal mayor Bo Bohus throws his head back with a wicked laugh. Debraslava is still conversing with her friends, but I can tell she hurt him. I hate to see her hurt. So I can challenge him to a prowess. Which I shouldn't be defeated by him. He does like me. Diplomacy. Um, let's go. I got a better chance in the duel, but I'm going to I'm going to try this one. Ah. All right, so it didn't work, but my wife still likes me, so Alright, I got the Trait Raider. So, Trait Raider, plus two Marshall, plus three Prowess, Prestige, and Opinion of Rating Characters. So, got my 20. I need this war to end over here. Every time I close my eyes, I see Duchess Devoslava's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, and make my way to Duke Timothy's castle. The sight of Devoslava's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close and yet so far. But wait, who is that climbing up the tower? The shady figure stops by Devoslava's window and unlashes the shutters. My little firebrand is in danger. I must save her. Which sounds like a brave prowess guy. Uh, there's an intruder. I did not come here to wrestle a blur burglar. We're going to go here and my son is curious so he's got diplomacy or intrigue so we're gonna have my wife do diplomacy where is she why is my wife not in here there she is yeah you can teach diplomacy The sounds from the struggle above is the greatest motivator I've ever known. Without care for life or limb, I hoist myself through Debraslava's window. I feel as if I have plunged into a frozen lake. Debraslava is on the floor, the intruder pushing her down, a gleaming blade between them. With a roar, I grab the villain by the collar and throw him into the wall. The rest is a blur. When the danger is over, I turn towards her. Debraslava, are you all right? I ask cautiously. As if my words were a spell, she finally unfreezes and throws herself into my arms. Thank Rod you are here, Timothy. And we are going to go this because I want her to be my soulmate. And we've successfully got it done. I hope he can win this without me because I really don't want to go up here to fight again. That's the bad thing about going with Minsk is when he gets into battles, you got to keep fighting. Let's do that. And I wanted to do a sway scheme on this dude. Get him liking me. So stewardship, Sophie, or learning. Let's go learning. Because she might be a physician for me later. So we got a claim on Roll Claw. I don't really want it. I'm trying to play more tall right now and just build up my kingdom than advancing it out everywhere 
big battles over here. Good time to do some raiding. Unfortunately, I can't. Peasants in the county of Kozlov are in good mood. They harvest as bountiful. The roads are safe in the village. Elders are telling nonsensical, nonsensical stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praising me for their fortune and have sent a delegation carrying gifts. I graciously accept their gifts. Fifteen. Intriguing. Send soldiers to collect more gifts. And know they need their surplus more than I do. I'm going to give them the development, growth, and popular opinion. Now studying warfare. You guys done yet? Pleasag is under siege, so we're going to have to go do some attacking. I can't attack it because it's a. It is a war that I am not in. Right there. Comes from nowhere, nowhere, hitting me clean in the temple. I didn't even see the projectile coming, much less try to dodge. And for a moment, I staggered, blinded. A sharp peal of giggles rings about out behind me, and I whirl. Harriman rises from his hiding spot, another snowball ready, already clutched in his vicious little hand. Good shot. Come here, you little rascal. That sounds like me with patience. Oh, no, you got me. You think you can face me? I know I'm martial and stuff, but this... That one sounds like me. like to try to get in some raiding here. I'm just going to have to go up and attack these guys. Yeah. I think they're on the verge of losing now. Alright, here we go. Go ahead, have to attack. this up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we won whatever we just did. All 
Alright, my wife is pregnant again. Spice Master had the Zerets br brought forth for the revelation judgment of Grand Conspiracy. However, when the Zerets refused to confess, Reyna had absolutely no evidence or support for her accusations. We're going to have to go that route. All right. This one's going to give me a faster rating speed. We're going to go that route. Go down there. Alright. There's nothing that can be done. Sorry. Bahuje or Bougie. Whatever his name is. I got a daughter. Let's check the courtiers here. She's good. Seven. Yep, she's good. All right. Prisoner. Not going to worry about him. Yet again, Count Vitislav is late for a council meeting. This time, I will not let it pass. When I arrive at Vitislav's chambers, I do not give him the courtesy of knocking. Vitislav is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. So he's more martial. He does have some intrigue, but he's more martial, and he really likes me. So what are you hiding? Show me at once. Return later and research or in search his chambers or respect his privacy. I'm gonna respect his privacy. I don't think he's a threat. A mischievous smile is playing on Count Venislaw's lips. I know I have exact acted strangely as of late, and for that I apologize, but I had good reason. He gestures for me to follow and leads me to the great hall. When he pushes open the door, someone starts playing a jolly tune. Oh my, the decorations, the smell, and everyone is here. It is a feast in your honor. Let me get you a cup of wine. So I gain prestige. So when you look at those, it's easy to like want to find out. But if you don't have any threat, I try to leave it alone because it does play to your favor at times too. This battle's going back and forth. Can Im I know how we can do both strategies because I'm Marshall. Oh, it's the battle. Oh. oh. Alright. Something happened with the change in battle there. I was in the Countess with Ponislav. Her attention was caught by a criminal change in the pillory. All right, so I can go arrogant, compassionate, or callous. Arrogant gives her prestige, but she has a lower opinion of me, or I can take on 30 stress for diplomacy. Or callous. None of those really help her on a martial level, so I'm not gonna take on the stress. My wife is pregnant again. We're 
very close to winning. Done with that battle. I think we're gonna go one more pass on raiding, and then we're gonna call it an episode. Let's do this. Give myself a little bit here to pride myself on making sure everything is always accounted for, which includes making sure my soldiers are well provisioned. So, not, I'll just pay. Uh, I don't really have the gold. I'll pay anyway. I'll get the gold here. I don't have gold, though, to let my army raise. So, there we go. Hope they don't attack me, because I'm in debt. <laughs> and here they come. Another daughter. Oh yeah, so I, this is my favorite thing, when you can increase your development by 40 by doing this. So I'm, my development is going to go up to 7 just because of that. And we win. They're always there for, and I hope that, so I'm, I'm her educator. So this benefits me later. I can get a weak hook on her or just better opinion. She already likes me. I'm going to take the hook. Marshall. I'll go with my champion. And we'll let you go. As soon as that gold gets back, we're going to go back in. All right. Faster rating. My wife's pregnant again. That's why I tend to do the soulmate, especially early on in a gameplay. I want more heirs. So, that is a big reason why I do that. Oh. So, I gotta pay attention to her. She'll probably be a steward. Can I arrange him? Yeah, I can arrange a marriage here. Or no, I can't. So I can arrange it with my son. He's going to be diplomatic. We'll see, maybe. I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk. So Slabivore, huh? Does he? He kind of likes me. Intrigue, I'm terrible at. I don't. I'm not a torturer. I'll just warn him. All right, so I can pick up the trait of unyielding defender. We'll try that. All right, let's finish our rating down here. And I got it.
Oh yeah. Give me more. Another son. Alright, so succession's gonna play in now with two sons. join he's gonna put that peasant revolt down pretty quickly so I'll join it but hmm. cynical just or temperate so cynical does not get her any martial. Neither does temperate. Neither does just. So I guess we'll go this route. He doesn't want to pay to get his wife out. That's interesting. Alright, 259. Oh no! She died under mysterious circumstances, which means somebody killed her. That's my wife. Dead. Ugh. Unreal. The mystery of... The mystery of who killed her. Well... We are going to leave off the episode right here. And next time we come back, we will be looking for who killed our wife. We'll be looking for another spouse. We will uh, we'll dive into that. We'll do some more rating for sure. But thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of uh, pursuing. Remember, the whole goal of this is to pursue the house seniority uh, trait, which we are. 34 years away on and we have plenty of um, children so I may actually look for a wife with a learning trait we'll see but we'll do that all next time thank you for tuning in if you could like subscribe I'd appreciate it see you next time